Everyone makes driving way more complicated than it needs to be. The cool thing is, there's only three rules. These are the Speed Hero three golden rules to driving. And you can use these anytime in any situation, whether you're new to driving or not. If you're trying to make a decision when operating a vehicle, follow these three golden rules. Number one's really simple. Don't hit shit. Whether you're going to like hit a school bus full of children at 100 kilometers an hour, or you're gonna slowly back into a curb, you've hit something with your vehicle. Your vehicle's only designed to touch the ground, so if it touches anything else, that's a car collision. So the most important decision is don't hit shit. You can approach a situation and say, what can I hit here, am I gonna hit it? Number two is don't cause other people to hit shit. <laughs> Just because you like didn't hit something with your car doesn't mean your actions didn't influence somebody else to have a collision with theirs. You know, you might be avoiding a pothole on the highway, but the motorcycle beside you might be surprised by your actions. Or you might have parked poorly and the last spot is beside your car. Somebody might actually scrape your car when they come in. Most collisions almost always happen from two mistakes. Even if your mistake is the, is the smaller of the mistakes, the collision could have been avoided if that mistake wasn't there to begin with. Don't cause other people to have a car crash. Number three is our least important rule. It's still important, it's still a rule. If you're trying to figure out the order in which to make a decision, number one, am I gonna hit shit? Number two, am I gonna cause somebody else to hit shit? And number three is don't break the rules. The laws are designed to keep us from hitting stuff or causing other people to hit stuff. So if you achieve those two first, then you almost automatically achieve the third. Now you've got the situational freedom to focus on those finer details. The written laws that say where you can or cannot park at certain times of the day, the colors of the lines, the signs, and what those signs say and what they mean, and how they apply to you not hitting shit or causing other people to hit shit. What's really cool about knowing that now is you can help others understand why 